Well, now, really, when we go back then to falling in love and say it's crazy, falling, you see, we don't say rising into love. There is in it the idea of the fall. Watch how quick this is. There we go. It's healthy. We did the screening. Hearing's good. She got a big head like her daddy. Alright y'all, so uh, I want to say welcome back to my channel, obviously this is a little bit different than uh, another live video, you know what I'm saying, I was not expecting to uh, have to do this video, damn I already getting all this now, I didn't even What the fuck? <laughs> Alright y'all, so Boom I don't even know like how to do this video without it I wasn't, I swear to god I, I thought this was gonna be a hell Like not easy, but I did not think I was gonna get emotional already <laughs> Anyways, I'm finna try to do this video as As a uh, as smooth as possible so if I start you feel me getting emotional I just try to cut it out boom what it is so um, I literally like don't even know like how to start where to start I've already filmed this video like three four times and uh, it's super late at night and I'm just trying to figure out like how do I even like I dead ass like in so many other situations you guys that I've ever had on my channel like I know how to start the video and I know how to finish the video with this video I literally don't even know like how to start how to make it make sense because like to a lot of people that may watch this that don't even know me you guys don't even understand what's going on because you haven't followed like the journey but if you have you guys understand where we're at now right so I recently dropped a video. I'm gonna just try to start from the recent stuff to like, uh, and then we'll go through a little timeline, whatever it is. So, um, one thing I do want to say before I get in, before I truly get into this is that I truly, honestly love all of you guys so 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 very much. And like, without you guys, like with the situation being. What I'm about to explain right now, without you guys, like, I did ass my life, like, you guys put a lot of impact on my life. And so I want to say thank you guys, before we get into this, um, for following me through everything, you know what I'm saying? And if you guys have been, like, a true day one, you know that I go through so much, like, it, all, it feels like I'm always starting over, y'all. Like, I'm dead ass, always 
going from zero to a hundred to a hundred to zero and it's like it just kind of gets annoying because it's like you know what I'm saying? People see me go up, they see me go down. You see me go up, you see me go down. That's one thing with this YouTube shit is like, y'all really like see like a person's life. Like we're very vulnerable, you know what I'm saying? Like as influencers, so whatever. So uh, I do wanna say I truly appreciate y'all for like really supporting and like, you know what I'm saying? Understanding shit at times and like, um, like my phone my phone has been blowing up with shit um also i do want to say for all of my um you know fans and supporters that sent gifts uh to me for you know what i'm saying to take care of this beautiful girl um london dior um i will be donating all of the gifts all of the baby stuff that i've bought you know, the whole room that I built for this little girl, everything like that. I'll be donating everything to Phoenix organization called Father Matters. Uh, basically what they do is they help single dads with legal stuff. <clears throat> and with housing and custody issues and all of that, you know what I'm saying? So like, you guys, just so you guys know, I'm not just gonna be just throwing away all the stuff that you guys have donated and I truly appreciate it. But it'll be going to, <clears throat> it'll be going to better, you know what I'm saying? A better deed to uh, single fathers that can't really provide for themselves. Basically, if you guys know, you know what I'm saying? If, uh, if you guys know what's going on. So I, I recently posted a video Probably about a week and a half ago, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I posted a video, basically like um, it was gonna be a series. It was gonna be a part, a part one and a part two. The part one was basically the fact that uh, my uh, alleged daughter, uh, basic her mom's ex-boyfriend, right? Um, London's mom's ex-boyfriend friend had dm me right i know a lot of people get mixed up they think he the ex-boyfriend actually dm me he did not dm me um and uh basically told me like that he's not friends with this person anymore blah blah they made they had zero following zero posts zero followers right so it was this person made this account just to dm me so i knew it was probably something important seeing pictures that's the only reason why i even clicked to i even look to click on it like usually i see like random stuff like that and i'm just like you know what it's just a it's just a somebody just hating whatever but for some reason like this one just like i had a feeling to click on it so i clicked on it seen these pictures these side to side pictures right i had got they put london's face and they put this ex-boyfriend's face side to side and for some reason to me it just looked too on point and i've always if anybody knows like i've always kind of said like i don't understand really where my daughter or where london looks like me uh but i you know what i'm saying i do know that like girls have like strong genes and latinas have strong genes so maybe you know what i'm saying it's just a possibility that she just not gonna look like me like that never really ask questions um the reason why so i made this video um and explained how this dude dm me and basically said like you know what i'm saying this ex-boyfriend you know what i'm saying london's mom was dating her the same time you was dating her or the same time you was messing with her and i was kind of confused because i literally asked this girl multiple 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 mo like i don't even know how many times i've asked her hey you know what i'm saying are you sure you never messed with somebody like around the same time you know what i'm saying like it's crazy like because i always like hear people like dm dm me people will comment like be like you might as well get a dna test blah blah and i never like care to get a dna test you guys because like i truly believed that this was my daughter and that it was just gonna cause so much drama um i had mentioned to london's mom before i would like to get dna tests and she would always trip on me and i always didn't i always explain to my family like i just didn't understand because like i would specifically tell her I, i'm not trying to come off disrespectful in any means necessary like i truly believe that this is my daughter but for you it's like you had 
her. You know what I'm saying? You had, you pushed her out. You know what I'm saying? I watched you push this baby out. I literally sat there and held somebody else's baby mom's hand and took care of this girl. I provided for this girl. I literally, you know what I'm saying, glorified how dope of a mom she was for some other nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it sucks. It really does. But like, basically what happened is, uh, so I asked her about this dude, right? Multiple I asked her if she just had anybody, multiple times. So I always said no. I always got mad when I would ask about a DNA test. I always acted like, if you don't believe that it's your daughter, then just don't be posting her. Don't be trying to like, involve her in your shit. And like, I just never understood it because like, I was always trying to come off, my intentions was always good, but I felt like she took my approach the wrong way. And which was like fucked up because like, I had all right, now that I'm thinking about it, like I had all right to think like, like let me, like why can't I get a DNA test? Like I, like for me it's like, yeah, like I know I messed with you and I might've slipped up, but it's like, I don't know what you was doing. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't dating. Like, we wasn't dating, we wasn't messing with each other consistently. Like, this was a one, two, three time thing. Like, I don't know if, and come to find out, you had a whole ass ex, you had a whole ass boyfriend the whole time. And all this time, I've been asked for a whole year. The, London is about to be four months. So, from finding out, you know what I'm saying, a year and a month ago that you were pregnant to now you denied the fact that there could be any type of possibility. And to me, that's like, to me it hurts the most because it's so like, it's so grimy as fuck. Like, I don't wish nobody bad. I don't wish nobody like the worst, but it's like, damn bro. Like I literally was living in LA. I was doing good. I had a penthouse in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? I had a little, little girlfriend you know what i'm saying everybody knew we, i was doing good like i was straight and i literally dropped everything just to move back so that i could not be a deadbeat and like i could really step up to the plate and now i'm thinking about i did that without even knowing it was my daughter like i know a lot of niggas that would that don't even do that for kids that they know are theirs and it's like for me it's like fuck like i really played like i was really a dumb ball like what the fuck like nigga moved back from LA dropped the whole dope ass relationship to coming back to Arizona for what for you know what I'm saying I I always have love for this little girl but it's so hard because you know what I'm saying and finding out whatever so I'll so boom so I posted a video We'll get back on track. I posted a video basically saying like, uh, you know what I'm saying, I'm about to get a DNA test. It was supposed to be a part two. The part two was basically me opening up, was gonna be me opening up this gen, this DNA test so that I could just rub it in everybody's faces so that they could just shut the fuck up. Stop trying to say that I don't look like my daughter. Stop trying to say I'm not the dad. You know what I'm saying? For this random ass person that DM me to, if it was the ex-boyfriend or whatever, Tell me to get off my dick. Put the video. I I set the camera up, and uh, I was supposed to, you know, what I'm saying, just rubbing everybody's face. And what's crazy is I'm about to show you guys this clip. The camera cut out, but this was this little four minute clip or whatever was when I just went over to my mom's crib on Monday, and was the day that I found out. I literally held this email so that I wouldn't open it until I got to my family's crib. Just because, you know what I'm saying, I knew it was like kind of like a sensitive topic and my mom didn't really want me to open on camera, but I just, I thought, I honestly truly thought it was gonna come back as my daughter and that's why I did this video the way I did. So here you go. Cash on me, like I hit the lottery. Well, you don't think I should open it on camera? Uh -huh. That's up to you. Uh, uh. It doesn't matter what you think, remember? I don't think you should have done a video. In the first place. Mm-hmm. I watched her stuff. She looks like a boy right now because she has on a little, that yeah, blue bro. outfit. So what is it, an email in there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to open it on camera. 
Why don't you call Jordan? I'm just kidding. I didn't look yet. You said call Jordan? Jordan opened the gender envelope. Yeah, but I don't. You should just. Are you. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, down. I'll sit down and do it. In here? Yeah. With us here? Or should I just do it myself? We are here I to mean, support we're you. Here. Yeah, I'm gonna just open it up and I'm not gonna say nothing and then how about I sit in this little baby chair maybe no that'll just be good superstition you're trying to come around my shoulder so you no, can I'm see not. I'm going outside I'm scared come on boys three I'm confused. I don't know. I don't even know how to understand this. I don't even know how to read this. Do you want me to read it to you? Do you want me to look? Oh, wait. Wait, wait. What does probability of paternity mean? The probability that you're her father. Um, obviously, as you guys can see, um, I opened up, I opened up that video and, uh, or I opened up, I opened up the email and found out that, uh, you know what I'm saying? It says 0%, just as the alleged father just cook is not the father in these cases, blah, blah, and the names are all little genes that you're not of London D or cook. So when I found this out, um, I texted her mom and I said, uh, come get your daughter. You know what I'm saying? I was mad. I'm gonna be straight up. I was super mad. I had London at the time, which is crazy. Um, I had London at the time and I just texted her. I said, come get your daughter. And she started calling me. And to me, it was like, you don't know if I was saying, come get your daughter as in like, she didn't know I was opening up the DNA test. So you don't know if I was saying, come get your daughter as in like, you know what I'm saying, what it is. And she started like crying, call, calling me, calling me, calling me. I finally asked her like 10th call over and over. I really didn't want to talk to her because I was like, like I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. Like I really have so much negative thoughts towards this girl. Like I, I even, I blocked her on everything. She's not having no type of words with me ever again. Um, and uh, basically, what happened is she called me and she asked me, she said, what happened? And I said, I opened up the DNA test and uh, I opened up the DNA test is awesome. This is not my daughter. And I said, I love this little girl, but I need you to come get her. And she said, she said, what are you talking about? And she just started crying. She just started like huffing and puffing and bawling, right? Um, She asked me, what did she ask me? She said, tell me you're lying, tell me you're lying. I said, no, I'm not lying. Like, what the fuck? Like, how the fuck? Like, tell, like, tell me you're not lying, you know what I'm saying? Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you just lied to me about, for a whole year, you basically just lied to me about the biggest factor of my whole fucking life. Like, the biggest thing that's happened to me in my whole fucking life. And it was a straight lie, straight dud. Like, whoa. So, uh, so then she says, I'm going to call you back. I said, okay. And she called me back and she says, how long are you going to be over there at the crib? I said, I don't know. Why the fuck, like, why the fuck does that matter? And she said, okay, well, my mom's coming to get me. I'm going to come get London. So, all right, good. So I left. So I gave London, uh, me and my family and all of us, we stood there and we all, Gave London like a big hugs, and big kisses and shit. It's crazy because there's literally a poster right here, you guys, of London. I just keep looking at it and I haven't, I didn't even realize that until now. Uh, the one where she's wearing my chain. And we gave her like one last, one last kiss, one last hug, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's the hardest thing because it's like, it's almost like losing, 
it's almost like losing somebody you know what I'm saying like it is losing somebody but I'm saying like it's like almost like someone died like it sucks like it's like you can't do nothing about it I can't be in her life even if I wanted to because I have no right I'm not her dad you know what I'm saying and she's gonna have to grow up probably not even knowing who the fuck I was you know what I'm saying her mom probably not even gonna tell her to <laughs> cuz you know what I'm saying what why would you and uh, so I gave her one last kiss you know what I'm saying? Play with her a little bit. Uh, and, um, boom, yeah, that's that's what happened. I left because I could not be there when I seen her mom. Or I could not be her, be there when her mom came to pick her up because that shit, fuck no, you feel me? Uh, so, anyways, later that day, Monday night, uh, Come to find out, her mom tries. Her mom, I guess, uh, is trying to text me, trying to tell me like I'm so sorry. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, and I'm just like, to me, it's just there's no like. She went from I haven't messed with this dude for a year and six months to two years, to then she switched it to I messed or I met. I had a she said an irrelevant and a irrelevant and. I forgot what was the other word, meet up with him in August um, that I would have never thought would even be a factor to that. To then now she has said like a day ago that she met up with him a week before she told me she was five weeks pregnant. And to me it's like, and she just doesn't understand. It just doesn't make sense to her. And to me, it's like, how the fuck? How in the fuck do you expect me to believe that you met up with this dude a week? Even if you did, you probably just like, I don't know what the fuck. Where the fuck her head is at? I don't know if she's literally mentally, what the fuck is going on with her? But I just know that she psychologically, I feel like, psyched herself out that I was a father, knowing that there was a possibility that somebody else could be the father. A whole ex, a whole boyfriend, to, to be exact. Not just no random nigga, a whole boyfriend that you purposely didn't say nothing to me about. Nothing. Not even one word. Not even, oh yeah, I had a boyfriend, but we didn't mess around. She didn't even lie like that. She didn't even, she didn't even care to barely lie. She just straight out just fucking Nah, like you're the dad would press me when I would ask for a DNA test and it was just like the craziest thing because yeah, that's now you see what happens. So um yeah, she just keeps she just kept saying I'm sorry. Uh I would never do this on purpose. And it's like to me it's like I can't believe that you wouldn't do this on purpose because if you wouldn't do this on purpose, you would have told me there's a possibility that you could not be the father, but I do believe you're the father. Let's just get a DNA test so that you know what I'm saying you're you don't suffer when the fuck you find when you find out that this daughter is not yours. So um, to me, I have no sympathy towards her, no remorse. I think it's crazy too because she literally accepted all her little Instagram followers like pretty much the same week that I told her that I uh, was about to take the DNA test. Um, she went and took this little girl to get her ears pierced by herself when I told her I was going to get a DNA test. Uh, she held her from me for a couple of days to almost a week when I got back from LA when I told her I was going to get a DNA test. And once again, like I specifically told her, I'm not trying to be disrespectful any way, shape, or form. It's for me. It's for my peace of mind. So to me, when I put all these little things together and like how everything just makes sense, like it makes sense as to why you never wanted to go to court. I'm going to be shut up with y'all. I wanted to put myself on child support, right? I didn't want to be the nigga that where the girl tells you, oh yeah, I'm not going to put you on child support, I don't care for all that, blah, 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 because that's exactly what she was saying. And then two, three years later down the road, she finds a reason to get mad at me, and now I'm on, and I get put on child support, and she gets to choose. Her and the judge get to choose what they want to put me on for. So I, being straight up with y'all, maybe it's too much information, try putting myself on child support. I tried saying yo look let's take this to the court you know what i'm saying me and my mom my mom you know what I'm saying knows all legal shit 
let me put myself on like a $500 a month child support. You know what I'm saying? I still am going to provide everything outside of the child support, but I'm saying just so that I don't have to worry about you getting mad at me about some shit and then putting me on like a $5,000 child support because I make good money, you guys, and that's possible. <laughs> so it was like, I literally was trying to do that when I tried to do that when a lot of people know if you want to get if somebody's going to get put on child support you need a DNA test she denied all that shit said she didn't want to deal with none of the court shit blah 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 makes sense as to why she never got mad about nothing me to having a girlfriend or shit like that when you think that that would low-key kind of make like a baby mom mad because there's a girl around the daughter blah 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 I feel like her fear of me like the same way a dude fears getting put on child support is the same way I feel that she feared me getting a DNA test and finding out that I wasn't the dad. I feel like she literally, like I said, y'all, she psychologically psyched herself out and wanted to believe that I was a dad for whichever case it was. I'm not going to say that none of this was because of money, none of it was because of clout. None of that because I I really don't think it was that. I think it was just the fact that she felt like when it came down to who's gonna be a better a better father figure for this little girl, she just wanted to believe that I was gonna be. And I did, like I stepped up, you know what I'm saying? Like I did my part. And a lot of people like, you know what I'm saying, say shit like a lot of people been asking me, like, what are you gonna do? You gonna still be in her life you're gonna still like you know what i'm saying and it sucks because like i can't even like it's like a t as much as it's gone as much as this hurts me for me to try to just still be in her life is gonna hurt me even more and it's like i can't take care of another dude's kid that's not even mine you know what i'm saying and it's like it's sad because like this little girl you could tell she was happy and it's like, I don't even know, like, how the fuck, I don't even know how her life is going to be now. Like, I know her mom is a good mom. Like, I would never take that from her. She's a great mom when it comes down to being the mother role for her. But it's like, when it comes down to, like, the father role, it's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, girls that grow up without a father is like, they, they be, they come out a little different, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I understand that. So, um... I really pray. I've already prayed to God multiple times and I just it's crazy too because like I hadn't prayed for I'm not even gonna lie, y'all probably like six months. I literally sat down and prayed type shit. Like I prayed, like let me take a little 15 seconds, but I literally sat down, y'all, and I prayed for 15 minutes the night before I found out the DNA test results. And I literally said Whatever the what, whatever happens, because I just had a weird feeling. Like that night, I just had a weird feeling. I said, whatever happens, I just pray that this little girl grows up. I just pray that this little girl grows up and actually gets to, you know what I'm saying, enjoy life and understand who the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll, I'll never be able to I'll probably never be able to explain to this little girl what the fuck happened you know what I'm saying like she it just don't even make sense like damn I thought I was your dad I wasn't and uh for her mom it's like well like you know what I'm saying like I just pray for people that I don't know if it was intentional. I don't know what the fuck happened with her mom or what was going through her head when she just thought like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll just never get a DNA test and just live happily ever after type shit. But uh, everything just doesn't. To me, I'm like hella like just blank in the head. Like I'm, it's been like, what, like two, three days now since I've known. I haven't really been on social media like that. Don't even really know like what the fuck to think. Like I don't know. Like it's almost like my whole life just. It's like your whole life just flashed between your eyes, low key. Like one day I was a 
dad. Next day I wake up, I was a happy dad. You know what I'm saying? Ready to build for my daughter's future. And then the next day I wake up and it's like, whoa, what the fuck? This isn't even my daughter. I got her whole ass name tatted on my face. Like, that's crazy. But with all being said, I would never take what I... What I experienced with this little girl is a uh, what I experience. What I experience with this little girl is like something that uh, something that you can't even like videos, like pictures, like that shit don't even do justice. Like the love I had. For this little girl was like ridiculous. I still like still I always have a love from her for her from a distance. But uh fuck it's just crazy that like you even have to do something like the fact that I even had to do this the fact that I even had to go through this, you know what I'm saying? But like Shit, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I said, I'm still tough. It's still Jay Cook, you know what I'm saying? We gonna keep this shit going. I got it tatted on my neck for the rest, for, the, for a reason. The marathon continues, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a grown nigga crying on camera, shit. But this, honestly, y'all, this, like, as as raw as he gets, you know what I'm saying, like, I would, I wouldn't post no shit like this, like, I wouldn't wish this on nobody, you know what I'm saying, Ugh. and it kind of sucks, cause like, can't nobody really relate, you know what I'm saying, so it ain't even like you can, It ain't even like you could get some advice from nobody. Only thing people can say is like, I can't even, I can't even imagine what you going through. I just pray, blah blah. blah. It's like it's definitely gonna be a, it definitely gonna be a process. But uh, like I said, y'all, I do what I do. You know what I'm saying? It's the number one motto. You know what I'm saying? We gonna. Always keep it lit. Uh, we gonna figure out now. It's time for me. Y'all gonna see like y'all gonna really watch it. Like y'all are probably gonna watch the biggest thing that's happened to me. the biggest thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Just get taken away from me and figure out how to build up from it. So uh, I just want y'all to don't think that this is this is gonna stop me it's only gonna make me a better person it's only gonna make me cherish things a little bit more i definitely uh want to thank everybody for uh supporting the fact that me becoming a father and not actually being with the mom and then obviously you know what i'm saying fighting out blah, blah blah now and so it's like now, you know what I'm saying, when I do have my own seed, it's only gonna be a, even, I can't even imagine how the fuck that's gonna hit me. Uh, you know what I'm saying, I wish only the best for not only London, Dior, and uh, her mom, I just, I just pray that she finds forgiveness and peace within herself because I know as much as whatever whatever she thought was cool because obviously it didn't work out the way she thought it was going to work out and uh yeah now y'all about to watch the J Cook Marathon continues type shit <laughs> so uh I'm interested honestly for myself to see how the fuck do does somebody even bounce back from something like this and uh 
Cause you know what I'm saying? That was my that was my heart. That was my everything. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. That was the most precious thing to me. Like I used to show instead of you know what I'm saying, you know how niggas get around, girls, they be showing them whatever it is, money and shit, money, pictures, you know what I'm saying, shit that they could be trying to flex with. I would flex with my daughter. Like I would flex showing pictures and videos of my daughter. And uh you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but like I said, I pray for people like that, that uh, whatever was in her head that she thought was going to go the way it did, it didn't. And uh, yeah, I love y'all so much. <sighs> we back to it. You know what I'm saying? We back to it. We back to some different, the channel is definitely going to switch up. We going to try to figure out how the fuck we about to get this shit popping again. I love y'all. And I'm off this thing. Uh, is the condition of there being life.